trend, KWJ700 Pro and KWJ950 Pro jigs are designed to fit worktops quickly, professionally and with pinpoint accuracy. Everything needed to set up these joints is supplied as standard. It works on both standard 90 degree fits and also in situations where irregular walls, out of square corners and trapped ends from walls and tall units are commonplace. It will also work with worktops that don't conform to standard widths and includes areas where scribes have altered the original width and is designed to form both parts of the joint without the need for measurements. Here we show you the worst case scenario. With both walls needing to be scribed because of a tall larder end unit and out of square walls. Place the worktop that will have the female joint into position and check it is touching the narrowest point. Then check that it's parallel to the front edge of the base units. The fully adjustable Trend Easy Scribe is perfect for making different scribe widths. Scribe the short end of the worktop to the wall. Cut the waste away using a suitable saw. If the scribe is straight, a track saw is ideal. Check the fit, then scribe the long edge of the wall. Where the scribe is irregular, use a jigsaw fitted with a fine-toothed up-cutting or down-cutting blade and trim away the waste to the line. Place the scribed worktop in position and check the fit. Use an off-cut of the worktop as a packer and overlay the male worktop. Scribe the worktop to the wall, checking the front edge is parallel to the base units as before and trim with a jigsaw. With the scribes made, you can see that the 620mm worktop is now 614mm and 606mm at the joint intersection, though the joint is easily and accurately marked without the need for any measurements. Using a square, mark the intersection of the joint onto the worktop, ready for the female cut. The female part of the joint is always cut parallel to the worktop edge. Set the jig up for the female joint inset using the alignment device and corresponding T-gauge. Position the alignment device up to the intersection mark, with the T-gauge also touching the worktop edge, and clamp off. Remove both alignment device and T-gauge and make the female cut in a series of passes using the right-hand side of the hockey stick. Then make the final skim cut using the left-hand side of the hockey stick. Place the male worktop onto the base units and use packers to support the female worktop and overlay it onto the male. Check the position of the female joint against the male edge and trace the joint line using a sharp pencil. Flip the jig for the male cut and fit the out of square gauges. Align to the pencil mark and clamp in place. The gauges automatically account for the guide bush and cutter ratio so the cutter will cut to the line once positioned. Check the jig is set perfectly parallel to the line by sliding the straight gauge along the track and then remove them to route the joint. Make the cut in a series of passes, again using the right hand side of the hockey stick to remove the bulk and the final skim cut on the left hand side of the hockey stick. Lower the male worktop into place and check the joint and fit against the walls and larder unit. The results show a perfectly fitting out of square joint against scribed walls and a tall larder unit.